Welcome back to this Final Fantasy XIV Realm Reborn Let's Play. You're with Sambo, Seraphis, Heals a Lot, and joining us here, as you can see on screen, in the desert of Thanlan. And boy, I can't wait to hear the music here. Is some crazy members from our crazy distant world community, none less than you, Blind Rage Galifay. You look absolutely bonkers today. What on earth? I think you had a bit of a, a stage makeup mishap. So, I, I mean, I don't want to be rude, but your makeup is just a little interesting today. Do you care to explain what on earth is going on and hello? Hi. What's wrong with my head again? Um, nothing. Nothing at all. Uh, I'm just wondering if, oh, you, if you... Well, did you eat oh, anything unusual uh, before I had we started a pumpkin. filming? Yeah. I had pumpkin pie. Oh, that makes total sense. I'm it was unripened, <laughs> though. It, it made me sick. We're staring at your face right about now, and I've got to say, you've, to say looked, you've, you've looked better. You have looked better. Have looked Do you feel better. ill you, at all? You said I didn't look good before, so I had to hide my face. Okay, all right. Well, you know what? You're not the only one. I can see here, Jinx McNinja. G'day, Jinx. Yeah, it's catchy. Yeah. G'day. <laughs> it is catching. Uh, you haven't been kissing Blind Rage, have you? Because if you have, I think some of it has Shh, rubbed off say, Jinx. on your face. <laughs> what, what is Jinx, going on? Good Lord. Hang on. Before we ask you, I, hey, Catella's running away. She's so scared. G'day, Catella. Hello. Good to see you now. You are pretty much one of the only folk that look normal around here. Well, me. Me and you. What, what have you done <laughs> to Blind? Have you mentioned anything to him, or is this just a, a bit of an off day for him? Uh, I think he's just having an off day. I think so as well. Let's ask Clax. Hello, Clax, with your eye patch over there. How are you, sir? Ah, uh, doing very good, thank you. Big wave to you, and also big hello to Zoe Bell. Hello, Zoe. Hey, Sambo. Hey, uh, you've got one of those things that EP's been wearing in the past few episodes. The Arcan, is that the, hang on, let me guess, it's the something gear. The, not the epic gear, it's the, oh, I can't remember the name. You'll have to help me out, Zoe. What is AF. that horn on your, yeah, AF, is that what it is? That horn on your head, Zoe? It is, it's the Artifact Summoner gear. That's it, the Artifact, I knew that, I was just uh, testing you. Congratulations to you, what do you think of my gear, huh? I mean, uh, have a look, I'm not showing off or anything, but uh, I could do a slight pose. Why can't, hey, why am I, why am I, emotes not working? Oh, there we go. Oh, that's better. Maybe because I've because you're a dork. Yeah, there is that. Look at me. Aww. Hello. Oh, I I got this. Catella, remind us all. What was the name of the dungeon where I got this one from? Only last week, I believe. I look a bit flash now. Where were we? Tam Terra. Tam Terra. And I got this one drop. I am really happy about that because now I look like everyone. Hey, wait a minute. Blind Rage. I literally look like you. Wait. Hey, uh, blind. I was going to say all the blood, green as it might be, appears to have drained from your face. You do realise that your face has changed colour in the 60 seconds we've been talking. It did? Yeah, I'm, you know what, you may oh, need to... Oh, that one, I, yeah, I need to get some sun. Yeah, I think you do. We're going to have, oh dear, I did. Jinx, yours, I think you've had a bit much sun. What on earth is that mask that you're wearing, Jinx? It is, actually, hold on, let me look. Whoa, <laughs> caught him out! It is. We caught him out! Woo! I'm happy about that. <laughs> uh, the <laughs> ash is mask. The a it's okay, a level 20 uh, mask. Okay, where did you get that from? Uh, I think I got it in a dungeon. I just don't remember which one. It's pretty freaky, but not as freaky as it... Come on, let the cat out of the bag. Blind Rage, I'm guessing because it's October, it's got something to do with a real-world event. Would I be right? Yep. Yeah, so this is obviously Halloween. What's it called, Blind Rage, in Eorzea? Because I bet you it's not called Halloween, right? Uh, what is I don't it? Remember. It I can't is remember All what Saints called. Wake, I believe. All yeah, Saints, that's what it's Saints Wake. Why don't they just name it Halloween? Seriously, Clax, I can see you're passing out down the side there. Have you got any Halloween-related artifacts, gear? Have you been up to any scary shenanigans? What's Halloween in game mean to you? Would you avoid it? Uh, I don't avoid it, but I haven't done it yet. Oh, so you've you just been lazy, is what you're trying to say? Yeah, well, yeah. okay. <laughs> hey, I can empathise with that. Today. One. Well, Catella, what about you? I mean, you don't be, you're not wearing any pumpkins on your head or anything. Have you avoided, or have you been busy? I've been busy. Okay, we'll go with that one. What about speaking of busy? I know you've been busy because you've been creating us an episode for today. I know that for a fact. I know that last week we did a dungeon run, and I was heels, and you were tank and you lived to tell the tale. So that's got to go down in history yeah, for a start. That's not what I heard. Uh, shush you, shush. Nobody yeah. asked you. <laughs> no, look, I heard that there were no deaths. No de Well, actually, was there a death? Jinx, you were no, there. No, no there death. weren't any deaths, were there? But uh, what have you got lined up for us this week? A little birdie tells me that we've got another dungeon run, but I'm hoping that you've not got me lined up for a tank or a healer role. So, Catella, uh, <clears throat> I'm going to get on my knees. Can I just run this one as D? DPS today? 
Um, no. Oh, man. Okay, that doesn't if sound If you good. had a DPS. Oh, no. subtle. Subtle. So you're saying I have to work. Okay, what classes are DPS? I mean, I've got a Marauder, I've got a Condra, but they're kind of tanky and healy. What sort of thing would I go for if I wanted to be a pure damage dealer in Final Fantasy XIV? Um, well, you could be like Zoe and be, or blind and be a summoner. Oh, uh, summoner. Or you could be like Clax who I think is a pugilist today. Right, so Clax, that's the fisty weapons, right? Yes. Okay, I'm terrible at upfront melee. Zoe, you're over there. Summoner, is that something to do with a conjurer? Or is it a black mage thing? Or is it an arcanist? I really don't understand. How does that work? You do start off as an arcanist. Right, and then what you branch out into... what? So you're a summoner. Yeah, so you would get to level 15 with a conjurer if you wanted to be a scholar. Yeah. Or level 15 as a thaumaturge if you wanted to be a summoner. Ah, uh, okay, all right. And so I really don't know the difference between a thaumaturge and a conjurer. Catella, one day we're going to have to go through that so you can explain it to an idiot like me. But in the meantime, I don't know. I'm looking at this. I see we're in a party already. There's five people in it. Are we going to be doing a dungeon today? And can five people go in said dungeon? This dungeon can only have four, so you get to be leader again. Oh, oh, oh so you can make me leader. Can you do that? Oh, jeez. Hey, look out. There okay. you go. There we go. So hang on a minute. Four people. So do I get to guess who comes in? In with me hang on so obviously oh, i'm going pick me, there we pick go me. pick me well you're not in the party blind i'm sorry I you can know, but oh, i could still pick you i suppose well, look you've got a dunce hat on over there that's not exactly inspiring hey. me to bring you into the you resemble that remark too. yeah i do resemble that <clears throat> i don't need a dunce hat we've got clax mm, i think we'll keep you clax your dps right so you're gonna oh, stay sure. dps take the pretty one <laughs> yeah he is pretty zoe's definitely pretty well hang on to you you're obviously dps oh, sure. take the other pretty one that well that <laughs> leaves Jinx and Catella. Now let me see. Catella, last week... You gotta week, pick me. Well, no, I'm Over thinking... Jinx, you gotta pick me. Jinx, what are you at the moment? Are you... What sort of class are you? I am actually White Mage, which I actually picked up yesterday. The actual job White Mage. Oh, hang on. Isn't that a heels? Yep. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that. Okay, I pick... Oh, hang on. But Catella's... Oh, hang on. Hey, Catella. Hey, Catella. Did you make uh -huh. me party leader? I did. Right, I've just... Uh, just one moment here. Um... I can cure. There. Yeah. Right. So, well, anyhow. There we uh, go. <laughs> I just always wanted to kick you from a party. Oh, man. That felt awesome. There we go. How, how did it feel from your perspective? Oh, she's just laughing at me. Okay. It's the only time <laughs> that's ever going to happen. All right. So, it looks to me like we've got Seraphis. That's me. Tanking. Oh, my Lord. Good luck. We've got Clax. stick. And Not this. with that. Oh, oh, hang on a minute. Oh, what am I doing? Something wrong already, Catella? You need to not be a conjurer. Oh, yeah, I knew that as well. <laughs> I got a, I have got a stick blind. Okay, here we go. Off into my gear set list. And let me see. What do you reckon about this set? What do you reckon? Jinx, does that inspire confidence? What do you think? Huh? 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 Mm. Uh, uh, it inspires no. me to want to eat a banana. Okay, Keep right. Banana splits! <laughs> okay, what about this? What about pink? What do you reckon? Can no. That? Oh, man. Okay, how about... How about I look pretty? How about that? No. No. Man, you guys are such a tough audience. Here we go. My Marauder. Oh, that looks terrible. Can I turn off my helmet? Yes, I can. Okay, no. there we are. I've got my Marauder outfit. So I'm looking at this, by the way, Cat, and I've got my Tomahawk as number one, and I've got Flash as number two. I'm obviously in the right getup, right? There you go. Yep. Okay. All right. Now, I'm looking behind me, and I have got a quest there. I know I went and spoke with Mother Mune. I'm going to wander over there. Mother Mune, she sent me over to somebody in Aldar at the Adventurers Guild over there, and I think they've sent me here oh look at that it's come up the copper bell mines Catella. if i look in my quest log it says into a copper hell you learn from the painted mesa that the copper bell mines were reopened in order to meet the pressing demand for building materials created in the wake of the calamity and of course you guys all should know what the calamity was delamud without a steady supply Aldar's nascent recovery may slow to a standstill make your way to the mines and report to the stone torch who guards at the entrance so I am here now I know looking in the chat room there I can see someone else that's not around here in game but Merrick I know you're there how are you sir I'm doing good good to see you and by the way I hope to see you in person very very soon as you know Tallahassee and I are coming to your neck of the woods in the city of angels to Anaheim in fact because we're going to BlizzCon and I understand you live nearby there do you want to meet up 
Uh, sure. Yeah, as long as I'm not in jury duty. But yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, is that true? Do you have jury duty around that time? Uh, I well, my jury duty starts on uh, November first. I have to call in on November first. Wow. So hopefully, uh, hopefully it's over by then. We're, we're hopefully coming. it's over by then. Yeah. Well, look, we're sort of seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth. We're around that sort of date, uh, of course, which is the BlizzCon date. So you know what? It'd be great to see you, and uh, we can buy Tallahassee a beer and a, a burger or something because he does like his drink and his food. But uh, in the meantime, I've heard a lot of people relate to this mine thing, the Copper Bell Mine. As is copper hell now Catella won't tell me blind rage just laughs at me i'm looking to you merrick why do people I call this the copper hell is there something i don't know about is it an awfully rough instance um uh, it's not really that bad but <laughs> you'll understand once you go into it why some people call it copper hell you're not inspiring me with confidence at all i've got to say your marketing is not your stronghold for the copper hell mines let's have a chat with the stone torch here see what he's got to say maybe he'll give us a clue there's been an incident inside the copper bell mines we are here to ensure that its effects are contained but for your own safety i suggest you stay <laughs> i suggest you stay well away from here catella what are you doing to me this guy is telling me to run away it's not a good look what you're the adventurer who's volunteered to quell the oh boy the hecaton hiram zoe zoe are you there i am hi i've come up against a word what i can't pronunciate uh, and it looks like Hecaton cherries to me. Do you have any idea what they're talking about? I do. It's uh, actually Hecaton here is. Hecaton here. How is, do you, okay, what is that? Sounds like a disease. Do I need to go to the doctor? No, you don't. It's a uh, Greek mythology, and it stands for hundred-handed one. Hundred. Oh my lord. So what? Someone's going to slap me around with a blind rage, and no I wonder you're laughing at sending me in here. What on earth is this in relation to the game, Zoe? Is there a boss in here called the Hecaton? That thing you said and here's zoe yes there is oh my lord okay you know what i think he's going to kill us with pronunciation we, we have to stay the game is going to listen and unless we can pr pronounce his name correctly it, we all die that's what i think anyway let's carry on why didn't they use plain english in this game seriously i didn't think that papa shan would be able to find somebody so quickly if at all i don't know about this Catella. it sounds like i'm being set up but anyway the giants are content to wreak havoc inside the mines for now but it's only a matter of time before they think to come outside the sooner you see to them the better make ready as best you can and enter at will the duty finder has been updated and now we've got a flashy shiny thing me bob oh, look it's blind rage hey blind you're shining and flashing i think i need to click on you does that entrance object catella mean that i need to click on that and we go in or will that just bring up the duty finder anyway i think it'll just bring up the duty finder okay <laughs> Yep, Scotty. Now I'm just going to come out. Hello, Clack. I'm just going to come out here and have a look because I have noticed that it's turned to day while we were discussing the heck it whatever it was, whatever the heck it was. Jinx, I'm looking out here. This doesn't look like the Thanalan Desert that I remember from version one. And most importantly, Jinx, I don't hear Whispers XX playing the piano. What's going on? This is a kind of a different area we didn't really have in 1.0. Oh, so this is new. So that's why. So, okay. So, because I thought, gosh, it's changed so much. It looks nothing like the old one, but it's actually a different area, is it? Yes. Okay. Yes, it is. I forgive it then. I forgive it. All right. Let's do a bit of a ready check here and see if we're ready to rock and roll. I have no idea what to expect, but uh, are you ready, Seraphis? Well, that's me. So I guess if I'm not, then we're in all kinds of trouble. Yep. She's ready. Clax, are you ready? I'm ready to smash. Ready to smash. Zoe Bell, are you ready? I sure am. Okay, and Jinx McNinja, I hope you're ready, because you're on the heels. Oh, I am ready. I am excited. Okay, you are. You're leaping all over the place. All right, Catella and Blind, if you are sending me into my death, I will never forget it. I will come back and okay. haunt you. Jinx has rays. It's all right. Okay. <laughs> Great. I'm welding your suit shut so you can't escape. Oh, there, oh, thank you very much. I'm hot again. Hot to trot in the bot by the looks of things. All right, let's do this thing. There is no time like the present. Now, Merrick, Catella, and Blind, please stay with me here in the chat because I'm sure we'll be calling on your expertise. Here we go. We are in the duty finder, and here it is, the Copper Bell Mines level 17, and we can join it. Yes, we can. Duty registration is complete. We're going to commence this and checking the member status 
three out of four. One of you guys is not confident in my ability to tank. Oh, there we go. We're all ready to rock and roll. We've got ourselves a light party, which of course is going to afford us some minimal bonuses. But this is it, folks. And no doubt here comes a cutscene. And there we go and of course it's great the way the game does that sort of pan around so we can see what on earth is going on now i have protect but oh i was going to say jinx yours is going to be a whole bunch better than mine isn't it that is correct yeah good stuff all right now just before we go any further zoe bell i don't know if you noticed but you've got a strange looking companion following you, you there what on earth is that i do that's my karuda eggy Okay, He's so, going to help me fight. Where, so hang on a minute. Is that actually your pet? Like your summoner class pet? He is, uh-huh. Or is she amazing. is, I guess. She is, yeah. That's really, really cool. Wow, I've got an Arcanist with a little Pokemon, but that's about it. So, uh, hey, you know what? Speaking of pets, Jinx, before we started filming, you were, well, shall I say bragging about the fact that you've been buying a bunch of pets recently. Do you care to whip one out for us while we're running around here? I cannot, actually. Why? We cannot whip out pets in a dungeon. Really? That's terrible! Oh my lord. Well, I guess it saves accidentally clicking on one when you're going to heal, yeah. I suppose. Yeah, that'd be why. All right, let's have a look at the map here and see what we've got going on. Nothing. There is nothing on my map except a thing called the first drop after Shaft A1. Now, Clax, I can see you in the frame here. Uh, have you run this before? Uh, yes. Okay, all right. And, in fact, is everyone here? Jinx, have you run this before? Yep, I have run this several times. In okay. fact, I'm running it on my Arcanist to try and get the Acolyte set. Okay, and Zoe, I assume this is something you're not a stranger to? Yeah, I've done this a couple times a little bit back. Okay, now, Catella, you were saying that there are a few little things that we have to watch out for in here. Uh, are you going to be able to let us know when that's going to happen? I mean, I presume I can't just run through this blindly and we just shoot everything will that get me killed yeah don't don't just go off running so okay. Okay. Um, go off running go off running no no no, no, no. <laughs> just uh jinx and clax they're all familiar uh with the places where you should really uh, be attention. aware of certain things so mm -hmm. yeah just listen to your party members okay sounds look and of course that's great advice for your first anybody. time for your first time i've got an objective here though blind it says that i need to clear the shaft of rubble particularly uh, shaft before and will that be completely obvious where I need to do that? Sure. Okay, all right, I hope so. Well, this is it. Here we go, folks. Wish us luck. We've got Tank Seraphis, and that will end badly, no doubt. Now, I am going to be marking, by the way, guys. So you can see here again, if we hover over this, you can see that all of these guys are grouped. I don't know which one to go for, whether it's a Spriggan or a Copper Bell Coblin, but because there's one Spriggan, I'm going to assume that we go for that first, and I'm going to mark that as a second, and that is a third target. And of course, these guys are experienced at running dungeons, so they know to wait for a second for me to build up some aggro, I would imagine. So let's do just that, although they're out of range there we go come on tomahawk there we go and hopefully they'll all run into me using the flash there we go and of course i am on target number one let's get this thing going see if we can turn them away from our party of course using our combos whenever they come up and oh i'm about to die already now is that because i'm not wearing the right gear jinx is it because i'm super weak What's going on there? No, I was hitting the wrong button. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh fair enough. That's good to know. It's I all right. I got it fixed. There we go. No, well, I was worried because I thought maybe I was doing something wrong. So it's good to know that I wasn't. Making sure you're paying attention. I actually was paying attention, which is unusual for me. But there we go. Now, I'm, again, folks, remember, down the left-hand side here is my enmity list. And you've got your little lights on there, which are indicators of just how much aggro you as a tank have got. And, of course, you want that to be red all the time. If you see one go green, that means that someone else in the group has pulled aggro or you've let it go. And, of course, you want to head over there and throw a tomahawk or similar at them. Sealed blasting door. I'm assuming that we can... Oh, it's locked tight. Oh, wait a minute. Ah, uh, oh, look at that jumping up and down. So I'm guessing we need a tiny key. Right, Jinx? 
<laughs> yes. Here we go. Let's open the sealed blasting door. Yes, please. Now, Catella, while we wait for this to open, how long does this dungeon normally take? I can see we've got about an hour and 25 minutes. I assume that was Six 90 years. minutes. Six years. Six no. years. What's an average run for a pug group? Um, For a pug group, probably... Maybe a half an hour. Half an hour, minutes? 45 minutes. Okay, so for an experienced group, it's going to be 20 minutes or so, yeah? Probably. With you tanking, it's going to be six years. Yeah, here we go. Had an experienced group. <laughs> Pull the lift lever. Yes, please. The lever. The lever. Way to go blind. You made Zoe cry. Oh, man. man. Oh, oh, I'm sorry, Zoe. It's all right. I'm Zoe's sorry, got a big Zoe. pointy thing. She can, she can keep her own. Okay, here we go. There's another Spriggan. Let's mark these guys up. Let's see. It looks like there are... Oh, there's two Spriggans there. Interesting. It looks like that's it. All right, let's get their attention. Now, I'm just going to charge on through Zoe. If I need to slow down a little bit or if caution needs to be exerted, I'm sure you will let me know, right? You'll say, hey, 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 wait up. Yeah, or are you just going to let me barge on in to danger, Zoe? Okay, I can catch up to you. All right. Make sure you stop me if I'm going to do something stupid. Mind you, you'll be stopping me for the whole episode, so yeah, ignore that comment. <laughs> Alright, number two, we're hitting now. And again, important to mark if you're a tank, because you need to let the DPS folk know who to concentrate on. Unless there are any ads, of course, that are coming in that they're going to pick off if they know the fight well enough. And there we go, look at that, no problem so far. And looks to me like I can just follow my nose here. Let's mark these as well. And it's just those two by the looks of things. And here they come. Oh, there were three. That's okay, they'll know the third one is the unmarked one. Of course I can if I want to mark that, there we go. Now Jinx, um, I can't remember, but are you the one that's playing it on a PS3? No, I am that, using a controller though. That might have been, oh you are using a controller. Plax, are you PC? Oops, staying out of the yeah. fire then. Yeah, PC. Okay, we want to go to target number two. Whoopsie. All right, so you're going to have no problem with your targeting. I know, Jinx, that we were talking to some folk who were playing it on PS3, and because they're on PS3, of course, they're on a controller. So how do you go in terms of your enmity list? Like, because it's not so easy for you on a controller, is it? Uh, in terms of enmity lists... Uh, I guess I'm not sure what exactly you're asking. Well, I mean, if you pull, I mean, like, how do you switch targets in a, in a pinch? Is oh, it a little bit um, harder on, on the controller? Mm -hmm. Not really, because I have actually enabled um, custom target cycling. Right, what does where that do? For me, for me, when I have it ticked on, it allows me, in my case, I use an Xbox controller, so for me it's left bumper, and if I'm tanking, I'll hit B to filter out to target enemies only and then I just hit oh, left and right accordingly. Yeah, that's really handy. Thank you for that. Now, we're at a crossroads already here. Clax, I can go over here to these Spriggans or I can go to the south where it says on my map there is a man-eater rip and there's a pin there. For a start, Clax, what does that red pin on the map mean, please? Uh, I think it's a point of interest. Okay, alright, so it's not an objective to a quest. So how do I know which way to go or am I not meant to know? Uh, you're not meant to know on your first run so okay well because we're time limited here where do i need to go to the south or to the east i think south south okay down we go let's do that and of course that's all part of the adventure folks if you've got time then it's all uh, a mystery oh. it's a mystery dungeon mm -hmm. sorry southeast southeast oh yeah no. i think there's a there's a coffer here okay well i guess that's where we need to go right because i do need to find six ons pinches of fire sand does that mean we have to sort of run around and try and find those or are they items on the ground or are they items that are going to be on a mob they drop on the mobs oh okay they're also on the ground too so you'll just want to be watching for sparkly areas on oh. the ground and again, folks, there we go. There's the red on each of those. And don't forget that this enmity list, I can click on them at any time to actually select my target. So we don't have to worry about tab targeting or anything like that. Use Tomahawk, even though we're right there. It's just an aggro generator when Flash has run out, like it has for me. And, of course, doing damage to these guys and using your combo is also going to generate aggro as well. You don't have to actually use a taunting ability. There we go. 
All right, no deaths so far, fairly happy with that. And there's a treasure coffer over there. So Clax, of course, what happens when I open treasure, does everyone get a chance here to have a roll on them in terms of need and greed and all that sort of stuff? Or how does it work? Because it just disappeared for me there. What, like, how do we decide who got what was in that chest? Uh, the games assigns the, uh, the loot randomly, unless it's a piece of armor or a weapon. Right, so that just eliminates arguments, right? Yes. All right, there we go. And you can see, folks, that it did pay to explore that little nook and cranny because there was a treasure chest at the end of it, which makes total sense. There we go, and let's have a look now. It looks like there are no other mobs around here, so let's get his attention. If I can actually target him. Oh, there was another mob I spoke too soon. Look at that. Oh, my Lord. That is a... Oh, that's one of these guys that we were talking about before. Zoe, this is the big giant monsters that you were talking about, right? It is. Ouch. And you can see the... Human. Well, the Copper Bell Coblin there, we've lost aggro on that, so I'm desperately trying to pull it back. And there we go, we got that back. Okay, these guys are very nasty, but I've got to say, they are amazingly well rendered in this game. Love the mobs in Final Fantasy XIV. So much detail. Some of them look fairly creepy, but you know you're up against a monster because they look so amazing. Look at that. Massive, big hammer pounding down on us. And you can see there, by the way, Jinx doing a great job keeping my health right up there. And these other guys here doing the DPS, burning this guy down. He is level 17. He'll have a whole bunch of hit points. We're doing very, very well. No danger here as of yet. Just a whole bunch of fun. There we go. All right. So yay us. Now, I assume I'm heading the right way. Oh, what's this? A lightning sprite. Let's mark that up. And it's friends with a Spriggan Copper Carrier. And it looks to me like, is there a group of three here? Oh, look, they're spazzing uh, out on the bridge. It can be up to three. Yeah. Um, depending on how close they are together, they may right. or may not pull. Okay. All right, well, there we go. I could have, probably could have waited a little bit because they were wandering around. I might have been able to wait until the other one disappeared. But no, never mind. I'm sure we can handle three. And, of course, the combat in Final Fantasy XIV, a lot of you guys watching along from home ask, what's it like? What's it like? Let's do a bloodbath there, too, by the way. What's it like? Is it action-oriented? Is it a little bit more tactical and strategic? I go with the latter there, and I like it a whole bunch that way as well, because I like to think about my fights. It's a nice sort of combat combo, I guess, between, you know, typical MMO hot bar combat abilities and also having to think about your positioning in this game about what sort of ability to use because there's a lot of rock paper scissors going on here right Catella and especially at the higher level dungeons you really got to know what you're up against right it definitely helps to have an idea yep and I mean I think it's fair to say that a lot of other MMOs are a little bit more lax about that now over there I can see we've got some fire sand so I'm going to have a look on the map and assume that we're going to be able to yeah look at that we're going to be able to get to there a little bit later on all right so Clax, how am I going you can be brutally honest how am I going as your tank for the day so far am I like have I made any stupid mistakes so far uh not yet but the, the night is on yeah the night thank you for your vote of confidence <laughs> I appreciate that you go. said honest <laughs> yeah no that's true that is true there we go getting this lightning sprite here now Merrick I did I've been meaning to ask you this for some time now lightning sprite I'm going to go ahead and assume that it's going to be doing electrical or lightning damage is that true firstly Merrick um yeah most likely okay now is there anything that, that I can do in this game to make sure that I am like should I be doing anything different because he is doing a different type of damage to say just hitting me with an axe or something I mean should I have you know particular gear on that has resistances to that or does it just not matter um, there there is gear that has resistance to it I don't remember what the actual resistance is called though right okay can tell any idea it would probably be like lightning resistance or something like that. Um, I know there's fire resistant gear. Okay, there we go. So I guess there's all the element types that are probably available. And speaking of fire, there we go. Just getting out of that cone. You can see it on the ground there. Make sure you step out of the way. Nobody wants to be standing in the fire, whether it's WoW, whether it's EverQuest, whether it's Anarchy Online. Or whether it's this game, you just want to make sure you're out of that damage. Because how many mobs were there? Was this the fourth one in this group? I didn't even notice. That's a bit epic. I don't know where they're all coming from, but anyway. Ow. 
and we survived always a good sign there we go now again i've got a bit of a fork in the road here folks or is that where hang on where it's one of these where i've come from or what's going on here jinx where do we need to be going this way this way okay there we are Getting lost already can't believe it must say it looks awfully awesome in here although merrick it's kind of reminding me of the netherwing mines in world of warcraft is that you know what i mean like it's just that yeah a little bit a little bit some mine carts here we'll mark this guy up as number two go back to number one make sure we've got all of our aggro going on there using flash a lot too to make sure that the group is getting aggro from me there we go on to number two now I dare say Blind Rage that yourself, Catella, and all the other members of Distant World are no doubt doing dungeons regularly that are a lot more challenging than this, right Blind? Um, yeah, some of them are. Most yep. of them are. Yep. So I, I mean I'm thinking this is probably easy land, right? This is like training training wheels for dummies for someone like me. I, it's fairly simple, isn't it, in here? Yeah, it's it's one of the starter ones, so it gets you ready for the ones that when you get up to like level thirty and forties, where you need to be a team. Right, right, okay. And well, so the challenge. Oh, here we go. Someone's pulled there. That's a good opportunity for me to see if I can actually grab the attention of all these guys. And look at that, I actually did. Amazing. It's a first time for everything. There are two. Okay. There are two bosses in this dungeon that you do have to work together in order to defeat. Oh, okay, all right. So it starts to drop a little bit of complexity into here, Merrick? Yes. Okay, it's good to know. Actually, I'm going to switch targets there. There we go. We're going to make you number one. And that means that the team here know exactly what I'm focusing on. They've done a really good job this time around. Um, every dungeon kind of... It, it starts out simple, but as they go along, they add more and more aspects. So it kind of teaches you what you... Um, makes you think about different things as you go along so that when you get to the next dungeon, you have a little bit more under your belt and you're more ready for it. Right, so you're not dumped in at the deep end, I guess. All right, yeah. now, Zoe, I wanted to ask you, we're fighting our way through... Oh, look at this, we've got a blasting device fire sand up there and a powder chamber. I was going to say, if we're fighting our way through a whole bunch of mobs, we can probably not bore everyone with that, but it looks to me, Zoe, like we're reaching a place here that's got something interesting. Are we near, like, how many bosses are actually in this dungeon, please, Zoe? I believe there's three in this dungeon. Okay, now are we anywhere near the first one? Uh, I'm going to say yes. Okay, all right, we'll keep going. It's been here a while go. since I've done this. No problem. Activate the blasting device. Yes, please. Let's see what happens. Oh, boom. There we go. And, oh, okay, so it's crossing over. So, Jinx, that stuff on the ground there, doesn't that mean that's like a point of no return? That's a boss area? Yep. Okay, all right, so we're definitely going to keep filming. Here we go, a Spriggan Sifter. I don't know if that's the boss or not, but I'm going to get its attention. We'll soon find out. The Screaming Dark will be sealed off. This sounds to me like it's a boss fight, but it's just a Spriggan, so I'm not sure what's going on, but I'm sure we'll find out. There we go, that's dead. What happened? That wasn't much... Oh, there's another one spawning. Okay. Is this like a bit of an event, perhaps? Let's see. We're using Flash there. And we'll mark this up again. Oh, hang on a minute. How many of these things are going to spawn in? Zoe, is there anything I need to know at this point? Yeah, so uh, we're going to have a lot of them on us here pretty soon, and then the boss is going to show up. Okay, so these guys all have a very, very low amount of hit points by the look of things. However, numbers, right? So there's a whole bunch of them, and we all know in MMOs that just because things are nipping at your heels doesn't mean that they can't kill you, because if they're are a whole bunch of them, then they can be like a bit of a swarm, but it looks like we survived that. What's coming out now? Oh, there's more. Let's get their attention. And again, so this use... is important to take note of. What is that? Yeah, the, uh, the flames, when they come up, they the bombs have to go down very fast because they can detonate and do a lot of damage to the whole party. Oh, okay. All right. Good to know. And again, use your enemy list down the side here, folks, down the left, because again, you can click on them to target and you can also use it to try and pull aggro if you lose it. Very, very important. Okay, so here's the bombs that you're talking about. I need to take them down fast, and of course, I can't do a whole bunch of DPS, but our damage dealers can do that. Oh, 
Oh, and we've still got Spriggans as well. Gosh, we're really getting swarmed here, aren't we? Oh, and here comes a giant as well. Oh, my lord. That's the boss. Oh, this is the boss. It is. Oh, yeah, you're right. Look at that. Its name is Kotos or Kotos. Let's see if I can get its aggro and hold it there. And again, try to turn him away. I don't know if that's necessary or not, but it's a good habit to get into, folks, is turn the boss away from the rest of the party, just in case there are any frontal cone AoEs, things like that. And of course, that just means all that damage is going to be directed on you as a tank and not your precious team. But look at this. We've already got him down to about 10% health. And for the first boss of the dungeon, I think we're doing a very, very good job. No deaths. And there we go. The Screaming Dark is no longer sealed. Yay us. What do you reckon, Zoe? Did we do good? That was very good. All right, there we go. I think that deserves a cheer, although for some reason I'm not cheering. Come on, cheer. Why not? There we go. The loot list has been updated. Hopefully we got some nice items there. We are done for boss number one. Where are we heading now? Are we heading north or south? Who knows? And we obtain a tiny key. Looks like we're heading south. Oh, that would be because there is a blasting door. We've got a treasure coffer there. Let's have a look and see what's inside. And need or greet, a plundered jacket is worse than what I've got, so I will pass on that like a good boy. Here we go into the next phase. We'll grab a couple of these guys and have a bit of a quick fight. And if it's, uh, if it's look, are we going to be basically clearing trash through here, Catella, do you think, for the next wee while? For a little bit, yeah, until you get to the next boss, and you'll know the next boss because of the line on the ground. So. Oh, of course. So look, what we might do, folks, is uh, we'll stop filming here because, of course, I'm sure that you don't want to see us fighting a whole bunch of trash mobs. You'll get the idea. And look at that. The errant soul is green to me, which means I've done a very, very poor job of picking up enmity. There we go. That's much better. We'll pause in the filming here. We'll make our way through till we get close to the second boss. We'll be right back to see what fate holds in store for us. Will we be able to keep a 100% success rate? Lord only knows. Join us in just a minute. And welcome back, folks. Here we are. You can see we've come up to an area which has one of these funny little lines on it. And I can see out there Jinx McNinja is pointing at something that looks basically like a big blob of snot. I've got to say it. What on earth are we looking at, Jinx? We are looking at the second boss, Erocherous Ire. Oh my lord. Okay, so Clax, do you remember this boss? And if you do, is there anything we need to look out for? Uh, yes, you basically cannot do any damage to this boss. Great. Okay, that's it. There you go, folks. It's been a pleasure, and we'll see you next week. Goodbye. Aww. What, Catella? Catella, please tell me. Is Clax kidding? How, no, how are we supposed he's to not kidding. Through? Well, what, what use is a boss if we can't do any damage to it? I do not understand. Well, there's going to be some other things that you use uh, in order to do damage to it, but you yourself are not going to be able to do damage to it. So, okay, so as a tank then, what is my role in here? Basically, what you're going to do is you're going to grab and keep the attention of the ire. And right before this, there was a six ohms pan pouch of fire sand that we're going to use to summon some bombs. Right. You're going to grab the attention of it, but do not let it die. You need it to self-destruct with the uh, boss in its radius. And then it's going to split into smaller and smaller pieces. Ah, uh, I see. So we're basically blasting away at it using the fire bombs. Yep. Okay. So we can see there that Apollo in the in the free company chat, in fact, has said, "Hey, Sambo, use flash on the bomb," and that's a really cool one. Uh, you lower its accuracy. There we go. All right. So Zoe, you reckon flash is a good idea when the bombs come out? Sounds like a good idea. Okay, that's great. Of course, that's not going to do any damage to them either. All right, here we go, folks. I wish us luck. And there's, yeah, there's there's, there's also one more thing that you need to be aware of. What's that? There's a Spriggan that's going to come out, and it's going to try and kill the bomb. You have to make it. You have to make sure that you kill the Spriggan before it kills the bomb. Okay. All right. There we go. And speaking GPS of which, GPS will focus on that. Okay. GPS will do that, and you know those red uh, There's a circles. Bomb. Yeah. You want to keep out of it. You want it to. Yeah. You still need it to hit the thing, hit the pudding things, but right. you need to not be in it if possible. Well, here we go. There was, there we are. That was the flash that the blasting cap there. The I'll be using Garuda flash. accidentally killed it. Oh, is that what happened? Oh, I was going to say because it had a little bit of damage come off it there. But um, so, is it worth putting Garuda away, or how, what do we? How do you deal with that, Zoe? 
Yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and put her away because she could actually kind of mess this up for us. Yeah, I think so. Now, why, Clax, are there blasting devices littered around the place? What do we use them for? That's for uh, summoning the... Uh the bombs. Okay, all right, there we go. And there's a blasting cap. Now, what happened? The blasting cap just fell over and died. How did it die that time? Because I got its attention with Flash, brought it in close to this big blob of snot, and yet it just fell onto the ground. What happened then? Jinx, any idea? I'm not sure someone might have actually dentally damaged it. Okay, all right, so we'll just get another one. How, can we summon these bombs whenever we like? Or because Oh, yeah, there's one there. Indefinitely. Okay, so there's, let's, a, there's a little timer. There we go. If you use Tomahawk and... Now, how do we, like, how does this blasting cap take damage and die? Like, what, what do we do to kill it without ki overkilling it? Because, again, it just dropped on the ground there, dead. Yeah, Nothing happened. Like I said, all you have to do is grab hate on it. That's where Flash comes in handy. Yep. Because so I'll usually tank right next to this to this spot here where it spawns, and then I'll just pop Flash and just stand there. Yep. Until so it blows up, and then I'll get out of the AoE. So I've been doing that, though. I mean, do these things just time out and blow up by themselves, do they? Yep. So don't do any damage. There's to it. one. Yep. So there we go, and we've got its attention. Yep. Got both of its attention. Just going to wait. Hopefully nobody's doing any damage to it. Waiting, waiting, waiting. How do we? How long uh, before? Out of the way. Ow! Oh, so me running out of the way was kind of an important part. Whoopsie! So I am dead. There we go, folks. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> so I just stood there, Catella, you'd be very proud of me, stood there and watched it explode all over me. And that killed me. <clears throat> but at least we split up the big booger. So there we go. Now, Jinx, are you going to be able to raise me or what's the go? I do not have a combat raise, so I'm not able to raise you right now. So is that it? It's all over, Rover. I, there's no way I can come back. No, I am tanking it right now. Right, but in terms of me, I just have to sit here and watch, right? Yeah. Wow. And I almost ate one myself. <laughs> yeah, there you go. You went down to about one-third health. So, Catella, I've got a big message on the screen here which says, return to the starting point for the Copper Bell mine. I don't want to do that, do I? I want to stay no, here. No, just stay there. And we can watch this happen. So, once again, folks, there you go. Make sure that you've got these bombs. I don't know why they were just dropping out of the sky earlier, but there you go. You can see what happens when one blows up and basically it kills the tank, if you're like me. But it does split these guys up. Which is great. So how many times are these going to split up, Jinx? Do you remember? Uh, I think one or two more should do it. Okay, there we go. There's a blasting cap. And hopefully this time, Jinx, unlike me, you'll remember to get out of the way. Now, how do you know when it's going to blow, Jinx? A red circle's going to pop up. Okay, oh, there it is. And there's the Spriggan that Merrick was talking about. And you can see that Zoe, great job there, has got its attention. You've pulled its attention away, right, from the blasting cap, yeah? Unfortunately, Unfortunately it killed time. it. Oh, yeah, not in time. You can see it, it did kill the blasting. Okay, but again, to bring another blasting guy back, all we need to do is activate the improved blasting device, right? And you can see Crax is doing that right now. And there it comes. There's the blasting cap. Keep an eye on it this time. And hopefully that Spriggan... Oh, the Spriggan is still there, Zoe. The Spriggan quencher. Here he comes in. And you can see Zoe is doing a great job of taking it down this time. Well done. And the blasting cap. There goes the red circle. Can Jinx get out of the way? Yes. And look at that. We are now down Water to... Water guys. Well done. Oh, well done. Look at that. We are now down to a whole bunch. Look, there's a whole gaggle of them. They're all on to Zoe. Zoe, look out. They love you for some reason. And that's probably because you're doing a whole bunch of DPS. Now, what do you do here? There we go. Immediately pull up another blasting cap. And it looks to me... Is that what you're doing there, Jinx? Uh, no. On this last one, you, like I like I announced, just let her rip. Because these guys have very low health at this point. So you can just zerg them down if you want. And Okay, there we go. And look at that. It is done. And that means that now there's Jinx able to res me. There's two treasure coppers there. There's some powder and some fire sand as well and accept the race thank you very very much so you're welcome that was a terrible tanking effort there the very first blasting cap actually took me out so there you go folks that's exactly what not to do all right we obtained and a that's six how you white mage tank that's how you white mage tank indeed thank you very much for that the rest of the team of course supporting everyone there and getting us through it so we got some blasting 
devices and some treasure coffers. Let's have a look in the loot here. A short bow, I'm going to pass on that of course. The bow is no use to me right now. My archer is way too low. And a plundered plate belt which is also way too low. I've already got something there. Why do we need the powder chamber? And imagine that we need to, there we go, add that and then use the blasting device to get through here. Is that right Jinx? There that we is go. correct. Using the two of them. How exciting. There we go. And we will cut filming again in just a second. But you can see here we've got ourselves a living fossil. Jinx, may I have protect before we pull that? And while we wait for that to happen, you can see we've got the Hipposurf here and the living fossil. All of which are new enemies here that you guys won't have seen if you've been following the show. And the enemy variety in this game, of course, is fantastical. Very quirky enemies that come up in Final Fantasy XIV. But that, of course, is a Final Fantasy trope. So I'm guessing now... Katella, do we have a whole bunch more of trash? I mean, we've done two bosses. How many, Katella, are left? Um, I, I do think you have some trash before you get to the next boss. And is There's the... a very, or sorry, there's oh. a very small bit of trash, another mini boss, and then the final boss. Okay, there we go. So there's a mini boss before the main boss. Is that what you're saying? Yep. All right, well, look, we'll cut here, folks. We'll come back to you maybe when we get up to the mini boss. Let's hope we don't die in the meantime. We'll see you in just a moment. And here we are, folks. You can see the familiar line there, a boss line. I don't know what they're really called. Clax. Score out of 10 so far. No more deaths. In fact, nobody else has died except for me so far. Do you reckon that bodes well in my favor? Or have I been a terrible tank so far? Uh, nine, 9 out of 10. Yeah. Oh, it's high score. Zoe, your first time running with us. Is this going to be the last? No, it's actually been a lot of fun. You've done good. Thank you very much. You get to stay. Jinx McNinja, I'm sorry, my friend. You've been doing such a great job of keeping me alive there. Harder work than normal? Eh, not really. <laughs> I mean, I, I main as a tank usually, so I don't heal too often, but it's going pretty well. There we go. All right, I'll take that as high praise. This is another boss folks Catella, we've reached a part here if i look on the map uh there's a great big area it says it's the cold throne does that mean that we're getting near the end here that is the end yeah <gasps> wow okay we've done very very well so this is the final boss here so let me see Clax, is there anything i need to know about what's going to happen in fact what is going to happen? Um, well, it's going to be a long fight. The boss is going to come out. You're going to tank him. Then he's going to run to one of the walls. He's going to break it. And the ads are going to start coming out of the walls. Good lord. And th yeah, those ads will try to break another wall where more ads are going to come. Okay, so what am I going to be doing with those ads, Jinx? Is that my responsibility or is it just up to the damage dealers to burn them down? Uh, there's a couple schools of thought to this. In both cases, you just focus main boss, that's it. Um, yep. And like I mentioned off camera, try and save your TP. Don't use the your cone AOE one too much on a single target because it's overpower? very expensive. Yep, because yep, it's very expensive. And this is going to be a long fight, so you're going to want it as much TP as possible. And one school of thought is DPS does burn the ants to try and save the wall as long as possible. Um, but most people these days, they just zerk the boss and ignore the ads completely. And it usually dies by the time the... Right. Right, right. The other wall goes down. Right, and those ads are going to disappear once the boss is down, I'd imagine? Correct. Yeah, okay. So it's probably not the designed way, but it works. Well, we'll see what happens. There we go, folks. A final ready check. Jinx McNinja, are you ready? Ready. Ready. Clax, are you ready? Oh, Clax smash. <laughs> <laughs> what about you, Zoe Bell? Are you ready? Ready. All right, let's see if Seraphis is ready. She's saluted. I'm assuming that means she's ready. I'm Good ready luck, too. guys. And blind, yes. Here we go. Support the Cold Throne achievement unlocked, mapping the realm. Let's see if we've got ourselves a cutscene. Slaves no more. Free. Free. Okay, that looked awful. Masters must pay. Masters must die. Never again. Never. Oh dear. Okay, so Guy Gears or Guy Gears the Great. This guy looks awful. I'm just going to spin him around, Jinx. Turn him around. Is that the best thing to do? Tank him in place? Yep. Like, like it was said, he's going to eventually run to the wall. But once he gets to the wall, just tank him over there and it's fine. Okay, here we go. Let's do this, folks. See what happens. Wish us the best of luck. And hopefully we survive the cold throne. We'll be sealed off in 15 seconds. And let's take the advice of the guys here and try 
and retain as much of our TP as possible. And that means not using overpower unless we really, really need to. And of course not using the flash unless I really, really have to as well. Keeping an eye on the aggro meter here and of course you can see it is bright red at the moment so that's perfect let's zoom out a little bit so you guys can see what's going on here we go and it's over there it says there's a level something something boulder now what does that mean jinx why is a boulder highlight that, over inside that is the breakable wall he's running over to break right now oh there we go okay so it's just part of the mechanics of it and i guess i can't pull aggro off him right now because he's stuck in that scripted event right correct there we go all right, so can I ignore the stone servant, or I mean, I've got aggro on it anyway. Yep, ignore. Okay, ignore. Oh, and they're get out just of the fire. stuck in their thing. They're stuck in their little scripted event. They're gonna break the other wall. Those okay. are the ads I was talking about. Right there we go. And managed to step out of the AOE cone there, Catella. You'd be very, very proud of me. Very good. Now it looks to me like we've already got him down to half health, which is fantastic. And there we go, another AOE cone. Get him behind him there, make sure we're out of the way. And that of course avoids a massive amount of damage that poor old Jinx would just have to heal back to me. The Stone Servants, again, they're okay running around there, Zoe, you don't mind? No, they're okay so far. Okay, here we go, out of the way of that great big hammer smash. Once again, we can see why Clax said that. He's down to about 30% health now. Looks to me like we've got this one in the bag. Of course, famous last words, you never know. There we go, another Hammer Smash AoE frontal cone attack. Staying well out of the way of that. Definitely managing to hold his aggro at this point. And oh, there comes in another one. Oh, and out of the way of his AoE again. You get plenty of notice, of course, folks. There's really no excuse not to get out of the way of these things. We'll use a flash there just because. Let's see if we can pick these up anyhow. Why not? Out of his AoE attack, and it looks to me like he's on the final 10% of health here. We've got a whole bunch of the stone servants running around, but as you can tell, according to the guys, nobody Coming seems up. to care. I'm gonna leave it And this guy's got a slither of health. Hopefully, once he goes down, there we go. It is all over, Rover, for the big boss and a cutscene as a reward. And congratulations to us, there we go. We have downed the boss of this hell, copper hell mines here. Let's go straight to the treasure coffin. You can see we've got a foe striker's skirt there, which is gonna be strength, vitality, dexterity. We can probably pass on that one there. Good luck to anyone who needs that and congratulations to whoever wins it. That is it, folks. That was a relatively incident free, apart from one stupid mistake from myself there, which of course I paid for, not the rest of the team. We've got Jinx McNinja, Clax Buran and Zoe Bell all providing ample support there and allowing me to go through that relatively unscathed where it counted. Catella, how was that? How did we do for time? Very good. Not too bad. Blind Rage, have you ever died inside here? Uh, no. You haven't? All right, so I'm better than you because I have. I've got one up on you there. I've died in here. You're going to have to do that. I wasn't that the tank, though. The oh, there you go. Okay, maybe. <laughs> I was the damage dealer, so I was smart enough to stay away from stuff. Ah, uh, unlike me. Well, look, there we well, go, look, folks. Let's get ourselves out of here. Find out what on earth we've got in terms of an update from the quest. Yeah, it says here to use the duty finder to enter Copper Bell Mines. Catello, I've already entered here do we have to exit will that update the quest it should update the quest okay let's exit then get out of here and see what happens leave the duty yes please we've had quite enough dungeon running for one day thank you very much but i'm very very pleased about the result there there we go outside the copper bell mines and it looks to me like we are surrounded by distant world members who have all come out to say g'day oh my lord this is fantastic a look at what on earth is outside here it is a whole bunch of scary scary ghosts distant world World ghosts, boo boo boo, they're saying. Let's see if we can say hello to them in the mumble chat room. Distant world, are you there? <laughs> Look at what you're oh, doing. Kiona. You are, Kiona, you are making my poor little character <laughs> panic here. What on earth is hello. going on? Oh my lord, you know, I can see somebody here. Lyra Carlisle, that is Steph. Steph, you're up to no good here if you ask me. What on earth are you wearing? 
It's the uh, Halloween costume. The Halloween costume. I saw a couple of these coming in, but I'm surrounded. Look, we've got people on their mounts that are wearing. It looks like the entirety of Distant World. Let's have a look out the back here. Uh, wearing these. We've got Hawklight Arrow. We've got Captain Comedy. Professor, hello. We've got J.U. Honey Jade. We've got Lily. Hello, Lily. Yeah. Cutie McSnuggles. Hi, Cutie. You're the hello. only one that is not wearing. Why are you not wearing a Halloween costume, Cutie? I'm working on my push toward level 50 right now, so I haven't had time to do it yet. I don't know. Do you reckon that's a fair enough excuse, Catella? I think it's I think it's good. Okay, Cutie. We'll let you away with that. Cal Calo, can you to you there? Cookie Soundsy. Hi, Soundsy. Hi, Obesi as well. Good to see you there. We've got Euromon, who, of course, we've seen in previous shows. Blind Rage, a ghost on a mechanical mount. That is definitely scary. Do you know what? Your mount has got a fiery thing in its... Is that its dinner? Is that what you're holding there? Is it's not finished it's, it's not dinner? Finished it's dinner. Yep. That's terrible. You are t- awful. Lieutenant he forgot to cook it he forgot. Eating, so he's it's, gotta it's, cook it while he's eating yeah that is disturbing we've got Teresa there and we've got EP as well Zen Wing hello to you hello good to see you now let us know please everyone's wearing these Halloween costumes how on earth do you get hold of one EP you have to do the what is it All Hallows Eve oh so it's an actual Event. quest line is it yeah Okay. And there's two, yeah, there's two different outfits. Hold on, I'll show you the difference between them. Okay, so okay, one there, look. yeah. I mean, one you've got a little, tiny little pumpkin on your head, and of course you've got the boo, the yeah. ghost sheet. What's the other one look yeah, like? Yeah, look, look at the face. Okay, we're looking at the face. Zoom in. Ah! Oh, look at that! They've actually got different expressions on their face. It's really, really cool. Yeah. Congratulations, getting both of those. Now, let me have a look. We've got Apollo over here, who's, of course, wearing the pumpkin. You're looking a bit ill, like Blind Rage was at the beginning of our episode. Um, EP was telling us about doing this event. Is there some kind of currency that you need to get Apollo? Uh, no, you just have to spend gill to get these uh, pumpkin heads. Oh, that's kind of cool. I don't mind when that happens because that means if you've already got gill, you can just go and spend them. You don't have to do quests. But uh, I'm guessing there's the option to do different quests, right, Apollo? Yes, uh, the quests are to get those ghost uh, outfits oh. that you see in Ponia. Okay, they're different. Now, if, you, if anyone was interested in doing that, where would they go? Uh, they can go to any of the three nations. Uh, there's a quest line for uh, each one. Okay, and they're in the it. Obvious places to spot, I'd imagine. Yes. There we go. And nice. The pumpkin heads are roughly 20 gil, I think, each. Oh, so they're very, very cheap. There you go. Uh, if yes. you haven't got 20 gil, you've got problems. There's Kreiswin. Hello to you over there. We've got Nirvanus Satoris. Hello to you. And there is Merrick. Now, Merrick, not only are you ghostly, but you're see through. How are you doing that? Ho, ho. Oh, oh right. no, no, no. Wrong <laughs> season. Wrong, holiday, sorry. wrong season. And don't you bust out your violet proto drake or whatever the hell it is. A time lost <laughs> proto drake. How? Are you making yourself invisible? Actually, I'm on my botanist, and one of the sp- one of the skills on botanist is called stealth. Oh, so it's not actually part of the Halloween, but it's damn handy to have it. Yep. There you go. All right, looks fantastic. Look, it's always great to see the members of Distant World coming out here to say hello. There's Hitogashi. Hello to you there. And, of course, everyone hello. on there. Incredible mounts there in the background. What a sight for sore eyes these guys are. There's Hina as well. Hi, Hina. And there is Prime Miller as well. Everyone is out here. Salita, hello to you. You know what? If you guys watching along from home would like to join us let's zoom right out so you can see what is going on here we'll look back past me behind me there they all are if you'd like to join the crazy shenanigans that go on here there's Nikolai as well week in and week out all you need to do is go along to distantworld.engine.com and of course hit the applications menu there and you can sign up if one of our wonderful officers accepts your application then that's it you're in you follow the instructions and everything else is roses that is it from us folks as you can see we've got plenty to do here it is Halloween and I certainly hope you guys are enjoying your Halloween both here in the Aussie and of course in real life stay safe make sure you're giving away lots of tricks and treats Catella I'd like to thank you very much of course as always for pulling together this episode what do you got in plan for next week I think you actually have a solo mission next week <gasps> a solo mission that's going to be interesting of course I'm all very well being propped up by my wonderful guildies here who of course in this case was Clax, Zoe and Jinx so I'd like to thank you very very much for keeping me alive when you could in that dungeon run and I hope you all had fun can't wait to do another dungeon run with the members from Distant World, but that is it. Blind Rage. Like I said, you need to go to a doctor, I think. They said it wasn't contagious. It, uh, <laughs> well, I'm just looking around here, and I think you've been kissing way too many people, because a lot of people have the same I don't affliction. kiss and tell. You don't much. kiss and tell. If, when you're not, not kissing much. or telling, what are you doing in game at the moment, by the way? What are you working on? Uh, my summoner. Your summoner. All right, good luck to that. I've got to work on my arcanist hey. as well. But that is it from us, folks. We are well Hi. out of time. Thank you very much for joining us. Do hope you're enjoying the episodes and the show so far and hope you'll stick with us and we've got many more
more things coming up and hopefully Catella will schedule us in a fishing show soon. So I'm just dropping that hint again. <laughs> fishing, fishing. Fishing, fishing. I really want to go fishing. But in the meantime, there's plenty of other stuff all your job. for us to do. Do have a safe Halloween wherever you are in the world. Do look forward to seeing you next time. We will see you then and bye-bye. Bye. 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 The bell tolls for thee, Sambo. Ha, 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 ha.